Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Force of Will starter deck spotlight for Valentina, the Princess of Love. Our most greedy of the Seven Kings, the traitor's tyrant, the one who betrayed everyone just for power. My friend and yours, Valentina. Now this deck here is a little bit on the technical side, so for beginners it might be a little tough to play. It focuses more on a middle ground type of play, so in the early games it'll just stay on the defensive, not attacking too much, and it focuses very heavily on hand size, so it's very important that you keep track of how many cards are in your hand for all your plays. Now let's get to the deck unboxing. For the Valentina deck, we get one J Ruler, Valentina the Princess of Love. Her ability is, for two water will, you can put a resonator with a cost of two or less onto your field. When Valentina is J activated, she allows you to place a magic stone from your magic stone deck into your magic stone area. She also prevents all damage done to her during your turn. She also gets plus one plus one for every card in your hand. Her god art allows you to pay four will and take control of a target resonator. The deck comes with four of Alice's little scout. This card is great for early game blocking because whenever it's placed from the field into the graveyard you get to draw a card. We also get four copies of Aerial Eye, the Dark Eye of Blindness. When she enters the field, a target resonator cannot be recovered during the recovered phase, and this effect lasts as long as she is on the field. She's really great for plays when your opponent rushes you and you need to slow them down. We also get four copies of Medusa, the Dead Eye of Petrification. Now she's a great blocker in this deck because whenever she is blocked or blocks a resonator, that card is sent to the bottom of the deck. Her other ability allows your Gorgons to gain plus two plus two when you pay one water will. The deck also comes with four copies of Squire of the Ocean Lady. Now this is an early game two job that allow you to draw a card when it enters the field. We also get four copies of the Overlord's Invasion Party. This card gains plus 100, plus 100 for every Waterstone you control. And this card will make for a very great late game blocker or attacker. We also get two copies of Charm of the Princess. Now this allows you to pay any number of will at cast to take control of a target resonator whose cost is equal to the amount you paid. We get four copies of 4C. Now this is your basic draw engine for the deck. The deck also comes with four copies of Send Back. Now this will return a target resonator, addition, or regalia back to the owner's hand. Now this is great for slowing down your opponent's plays. We also get two copies of Wall of Ideas. This will either give a target resonator minus 800 power or plus 800 defense. This card combos well with making plays with Valentina and Medusa. Valentina's field edition is Shangri-La, the paradise on the ocean. When this card enters the field, you draw a card. Then, all your water resonators gain plus 100, plus 100. Additionally, if you have five or more cards in your hand, your water resonators also gain an additional plus 100, plus 100. This is great for beefing up all of your blockers on your field and setting up for bigger plays later. Valentina's Regalia is Glepnir, the Red Binding of Fate. Glepnir's ability is whenever your J Ruler deals battle damage to either your opponent or a J Ruler, you draw a card. And this effect will stack additionally for every copy of Glepnir on your field. By resting this Regalia, you can target a J Ruler on your opponent's field and it gains the ability it must block if possible, and it also recovers that resonator. Additionally, this card is a great draw engine as well. By discarding an additional copy of Glepnir, you can draw one card. Lastly, the deck comes with 10 Water Magic Stones. As you can see, the Valentina deck focuses on a lot of the middle and late game, with all of its blocking and drawing cards. This deck is very efficient at slowing your opponent down and waiting till the right moment to steal all of your opponent's resonators and swing for the final push.